Hey, Wargamers, welcome to the After Action Report for the Cabal vs. Avengers game. That was an absolute bloodbath. <laughs> that, was, uh, that, was, that was definitely bloodbath and beyond. Uh, with that one, like, oh my goodness. Um, normally, Greg, I would ask you if you felt you needed any changes to your roster. Nuts to that, I'm not asking this time. I mean, maybe I don't take Hulk. Like, <laughs> maybe you don't take Hulk. Yeah. Who is Hulk, the underperformer? I know, right? Like, he, he can't roll defense dice, apparently. Like, I don't know, but... for, for anyone who decided not to watch the game and they're just jumping into this one, Spider-Man soloed the Hulk. And, 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 took, and took five damage in return? He took five. That's it. But he soloed the Hulk and just like did it with style. <laughs> just, like the, the one time ASM pops off for me, it's like absolutely amazing. Um, but so, no, in seriousness, I'm happy with like playing these three. Like, I've got plenty of options. Oh yeah, yeah, you got plenty of options. Um, I, I was kind of bold. I knew the deception was going to hit me. Um, you know what really kind of came back and bit us in the ass? We we, uh, we misplayed the cover there. We did, and that probably would have changed a bunch of the game. A bunch of things, yeah. Uh, and so, so I think I think the main thing it changes, strange, is I just don't pick up this hammer. I think the thing in back because all I would do is I take my one attack on Thor, yeah. and I settle on dazing Thor with Malika at the start of the next round. Yeah, and just having that be that the way the turn goes. Yeah, it, it, gave, it might have given me a little bit of breathing yeah, room because you wouldn't have been able targeting guys down as quickly, no. and I might have been able to keep Thor within bodyguard range. That's true. Yeah. Um, yeah but so, yeah. yeah, missing that did actually. It, it's funny because at the time we're like, ah, we don't think I'll have that big of an impact, and then yeah. you just dummy <laughs> Thor. It's like, well, okay then. Yeah. Uh, and like, I don't even want to say what I did was a misplay. I think, I, like, I, Thor theoretically should have been able to tank a lot more of what he did. That's true. I mean, I shouldn't. I shouldn't one round Thor one attack. Like, yeah, that, that was way. He, he got dummied. I think you you rolled like I rolled like one successful defense, and you just like dummied him with the yeah. rest of the attack. Um, so, of course, the other thing that's probably <coughs> worth addressing is is follow me. Probably not going to be around much longer because uh, when the game's at a point where you can get so much value from it, and even <coughs> if let's say it didn't exist, it means instead of essentially gambling with Hulk, right? Cause if, if Hulk does a couple of decent throw, uh, hits into Thor, I can throw this carbage truck at him, which I was expecting that, I'm not always expecting that to be there at the end of the game. <laughs> I thought I was going to launch it into someone. Um, you know, Leland doesn't have brace in his roster, so that's, you know, essentially five damage coming in, yeah. as well as two hits from Hulk. I would have felt okay with that, um, if I didn't have, because I was expecting to have the power to follow me, uh, and be able to throw. Um, because I didn't, Malekith Porius starts first and hits Thor um, with his own, just, Blade of Midnight, basically, that's what we would go for instead. Yeah, and um, and just going back to your follow me comment, I mean, yeah. Malkith can get power so fast. So fast. Right? We like, you, you went from zero power to six power mm -hmm. in one action, and it's just like... Exactly, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so like, and that gave you the follow me, which gave you like, you just kind of steamrolled and kept the priority Snowball. for so long. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> It's really funny because the first couple actions really dictated what happened. Because the other thing that I really should have been mindful of is I should have kept Thor within range two of Steve. Yes. Yeah. Um, because that would have avoided the deception. Yes. On top of that, right? It, it gets a little yeah, it gets a little <sighs> bit dicey at that point because it's so so deception. If people haven't played against it a lot, it can be done outside of Mystique's activation. Yeah. So there is there is a chance that say she runs over here. If Black Widow comes to join her again, the way the rulings work on advances and things and pushes, you ignore yourself. So even though Mystique is could be sitting right next to Black Widow, in fact, you know what, let's let's move Cat Daddy out of the way. And let's show what can happen, right? So Mystique is here. Uh, if Black Widow's here, if Mystique used deception on Black Widow, yes, she has to advance towards her, but she doesn't stop here, yep. right? You can advance right go, past. She would go a full on movement right into, you know, yep, uh, absolutely. the market. Deception is zone. It, it's funny, Deception is incredibly powerful, but I don't think it's broken. No, you can um, play around it, it's very you, you clear. You can play around it, and, and that's definitely where I screwed up back here, right? Like, I, I was just in a range yeah. two, and that was that was a, a dummy move on my part, um, because unfortunately, like, if I had done that, there yeah. would have been much more of a game going on there. <laughs> uh, but you know what, I, I, I gotta also say. also take, uh, sorry, so just, just while we're talking about oh, yeah, no, I also course. take um, Face Me as like a backup deception. Yes. But again, not that bad because it's three power to play and your opponent gets to hit you with yeah. anything. Uh, I, I love Face Me as a card, yeah. I really do. I think you have to be very careful about who you target oh, it on. Careful. You wanna make sure whoever is using it can take a punch. Uh, unlike, you know, when I do Face Me with Nick Fury and Rocket just <laughs> dumpsters him like, with, a, with a Montesi book, because it has happened. Um, <laughs> But yeah, uh, now interesting to note here, the score was 19 to 13. It was yeah. not, like the game was still rather close. Oh yeah, oh all yeah. Things considered, right? Like if I had been able to hold on one more turn of of those uh, of the, the citizens, right? Yeah. It would have been 17 15. Oh yeah, it gets it gets like, very scary. Like I mean, he, that, and that was my gamble at the start, right? Where I was like, I know I'm going to go 
you know, five, seven points down at the end of round one. Because, yeah. But Thor being able to throw, you know, my two big chunky guys, being able to stagger them, that's, that's a big deal. And that was my gamble. If I get them off the table quickly, I, I feel okay. Um, I didn't account for Amazing Spider-Man, though. He, he, no, he, 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 he was the real danger. He, he, was, <laughs> he was truly amazing in this game. But yeah, no, I, I just wanted to point another, because that looked like it was a very one-sided game. But oh. you know what? Like, one or two rolls going a little bit differently. No, I mean, and even, it's a very different game. Score, right? yeah. you, you still got 13 points. Yeah, right? that, yeah, that, yeah. Is, that, is not, that is not a terrible score to end up with, no, especially no. with most of my team being tabled. Oh, yeah. Right? And it really just came down to if I held a hammer for one extra turn, or if I had the citizens for one extra yeah, turn, yeah. right? So yeah, it looked very one-sided, but it kind of wasn't yes, at the same yeah, time. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, uh, and it, honestly, it's one of the reasons I absolutely love this game. Yeah, I, I think that yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, because as things are, you know, here on the table, all that matters is this scoreboard. Exactly. At the end of the day, right? Exactly. And I mean, ASM was still he he could have tanked one more turn's worth of stuff, maybe, and yeah, who who really knows? So I I mean. It was a bloodbath, but it was fun. <laughs> like, that was so much fun. I am so happy ASM popped off for me. That makes me so happy. <laughs> I mean, I wish it would have been in any other game but this, but... But you know what? I can now say my ASM has taken on Thor, or Thor, uh, Hulk, Hulk on his own. I keep on his own. doing that. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, Sp Spidey has taken on Hulk on his own. And we, so the rerolls combined with Winnie Banter as well, right? Yeah. It's surprisingly tanky. Like yeah. taking that, taking out one wild away to prevent a stagger and a throw, right? Oh my goodness. So that's, so that's, he loses a point of damage from the hit. He doesn't take a point of damage from the throw, and he doesn't get staggered, or yep. for you spending one power, like yeah, no, that's, was, that's a hell of a deal. It, it was big, and I mean, Witty Banner can really can really change things around, and you know, I, I just love the imagery of uh, Hulk like going into <laughs> Spidey and Spidey just dodging everything, just telling bad knock knock jokes <laughs> and puns, and while punching him in the it, face. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's like it's. Uh, I think there's actually a uh, a Marvel comic. Where, where that's actually the joke, oh, really? where he, where he, uh, where he actually gets Hulk with a knock knock joke. Amazing. And Hulk just starts <laughs> laughing, and he transforms back into Banner, and Spidey's just like, "Really, a knock knock joke?" <laughs> so like, I, I, oh, figured that's cool. that, that, I think that's exactly what just happened here. It's just like, "Really, a knock knock joke?" <laughs> um, anyway, I don't think there's really much more to no, say about no. this game. Like that, that was just that was a wild <laughs> ride, man. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed what's probably going to be like a 25 minute video <laughs> here. Uh, but uh, you know, it, it was. It was a wild ride. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Greg, thank you so much for coming out and, and doing this no, with me. This, 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 this was just a blast, and I look forward to the next time we can roll dice together. Uh, for everyone else who watched this, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. Leave your comments below. Let us know what you liked and what you didn't like about it, and uh, we will catch you next time. Happy Wargaming.